I'm not even sure if I want to share this, but. And then run it with some gold trap heels. <laughs> Put it up with me. Great, thanks so much. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome back to a new vlog. Let me just back up. I'm a little bit too close, but um, I thought I'd do a get ready with me. I'm just gonna go run some errands and then uh, go to the gym and then. I have a school meeting today with um, Sophia's teachers. So I thought I'd do a get ready with me in the morning. So I'm just gonna uh, do my makeup. I already did like all of my um, moisturizer, primer, all that good stuff. So I think I'll do my makeup with you guys. I came down here because I'm sleeping upstairs and I thought I'd give him some peace and quiet because I didn't want to vlog while um, he was in the room. But I forgot my foundation upstairs. So I'll be back. I am back so for foundation I use NARS this is my absolute favorite um, it is the NARS uh, natural radiant longwear foundation but yeah this is my absolute favorite so I'm just gonna and for brush excuse my brushes they are dirty I haven't, <laughs> I haven't washed it in a week or two but um, I'm just gonna put that here anyway Oh, by the way, I did my brows because when I'm doing school runs, I cannot go looking to school looking jacked up. So I always do my brows. But anyway, how are you guys doing? How's your week going so far? My week has been eventful. There's been a lot of like highs and lows. Obviously been excited about Ramadan and preparing for it. But then just having like some days are like really low for me and i have to um pick myself up yesterday actually was a really low day for me some days i just feel really emotional um I'm not even sure if I want to share this, but I'm hoping I share it just to let other other moms out there know that it's just normal to feel burned out. I feel really burned out. Um, and you just get so much into routine and you're the last person you think of. God, this makes me sympathize with my mom even more. Like, I don't know how she did it with five kids. And here I am with three and Alhamdulillah Ahmed is like really hands on. Yeah, it just makes me appreciate her more. Anyway, so yeah, just been feeling really burnt out lately and uh, very emotional. It's probably because that time of the month is <laughs> probably coming soon. But yeah, I've just been feeling like that. But I try to cheer myself up and just do things that I love, like shopping. <laughs> going to the gym I think the gym is like my safe haven go in there like I just release all the emotions and I leave the gym feeling so good and it of course helps you um, physically as well that's like a plus but mainly I go there for my mental health um, so yeah I've just been feeling really down lately um, I had a good cry I think that really helps you always feel better but you know the one thing that I noticed is your children can pick up on it, especially Sophia. She's only six but she is so smart that girl. Like yesterday, once um, she finished school we were going swimming and I was like alright I have to be in mom mode, you know. And I was being like my usual self, all like chatty, smiley, everything. Um, we always go to a, a cafe that she likes, get like treats and stuff, sit there and we chat about how her day went so far, etc, blah blah blah. And once we finished everything, I was just like, okay, you're doing really good, you know, you're holding it together. And um, on the way in the car, she was like, mommy, you're not yourself today. And I was so shocked when my jaw dropped. I was like, I thought I was doing really well, like, you know, 
putting this face on like you know mommy mode I'm, I'm good and then she was like you seem very sad today and I just had to tell her yeah you know some days you feel sad and some days you're happy and today's just one of those sad days for me and then she's like don't worry I got you you know when we go home we're gonna cuddle and I'll watch your favorite show with you and she was like we'll have snacks in bed and you don't have to cook etc blah 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 and I was just like I'm so grateful alhamdulillah made me so happy like I was like this is why I do it I do it for you know my babies and my family and I'll be honest with you I feel like I'm really fortunate I have a very supporting husband I have two daughters that are teenagers so they basically do um, everything on their own they don't rely on me they help around the house cooking cleaning etc I just wanted to share this message with you guys and tell you guys it's okay you know as a mom sometimes you feel burnt out and all you got to do is take some time off for yourself recharge do something that makes you happy and know that you are doing it for them and that there are other people around the world that would love to be in your shoes and have a family and be fortunate enough to become a mom so try to focus on that and it's okay to feel down it's okay to feel burnt out so it's natural so for all my mommies out there just know that you're not alone i'm sure every mom goes through this once or twice <laughs> probably a month but um yeah that's how i've been uh, feeling lately anyway let me finish uh with my makeup so just uh, put my foundation on i'm just gonna uh, set my uh, under my eyes with fit me I forgot what brand from Maybelline so I am intrigued to try the Charlotte Tilbury one I'll probably try that but um, this one is not too bad I like this one so um, yes excited about Ramadan it's literally in on Sunday so today's Tuesday what in like five days so I'm now going to, actually I'm going to start getting all of my abayas out. I remember I said that I was going to do it in the other vlog, but I haven't had a chance. But I'm going to get all of that out, get it ready, and show you guys um, what I'll be wearing to like iftar. There's a few iftar um, dinners that we have planned with uh, family and friends. So we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys. All the outfits I'll be wearing. I just want to get all those things ready and get my abayas out for like tarawih. Usually we pray at um, White Chapel Mosque, East London Mosque, actually. So um, yeah, get my abayas out, and then after that, okay. So next, I absolutely love this. I bought this in Dubai, and it is uh, makeup by Mario. It's like a bronzer, and. I use this to kind of define um, or sculpt uh, my face. I love this so much. And I'm going to use my Zoeva brush. I don't even know what number it is. It faded out, but it looks like that. So yeah, I'm just going to... It's like a blush slash bronzer. I'm not going to do too much just to kind of bring some warmth to my face. a little bit on my nose on my chin and I also like to put it on my eyes uh, on my eyelids um, I got this brush from Morphe I don't know the name of it but it was like a pack of um, eyeshadow brushes I'm just gonna do that but yeah I'm gonna get all of my abayas out and um we are going to start decorating i was honestly supposed to do it on sunday um and then i just kept pushing it back because i'm shooting a few uh content for some brands uh over, um and i need to hand them in uh just before ramadan so been busy doing that um so hopefully inshallah we should get started either today or tomorrow pretty much what I do, I want to put you guys on if you guys don't know already. This 
this mascara this is honestly the goat of all mascaras and i've tried so many and i ran out so this is my previous one and then i got a new one i picked it up yesterday but honestly i'm just gonna show you guys what this does one of you guys asked me in the comments what lip uh combo i use and i actually ran out of my lip liner i use um one by charlotte tilbury i forgot what the name was but at the moment i have like a backup one uh from primark so i'm gonna i'm just gonna show you guys And that's all I do really. Yeah. So it is Toffee from Primark. Listen, don't sleep on Primark, I'm telling you guys. Anyway, back to the mascara. So I do this little trick where I hold the mascara and I just keep blinking. So that is one coat. I'm just going to let that dry and then do the other eye. I know how to do it, yeah? So that is how it looks. I don't wear falsies because when I have this mascara, literally, I don't even need it, but that is how it looks. So I feel like this is a little bit heavy. I wouldn't usually put this much mascara on, on my everyday makeup, but I just wanted to show you guys how lovely this mascara is. It's a little bit on the pricey side but it literally lasts you three three and a half four months anyway by three months you shouldn't use your mascara you should throw it away but um yeah it lasts you really long because it's a really big tube if you want to try it out they also have like a smaller mini version i think that's like 13 pounds so maybe try that one out that's what i did and i loved it so now i always get the bigger size but anyway that is my makeup done this is like my everyday makeup from running errands etc or if i just want to feel a little bit more put together but that is all i use i usually and just set it with uh the charlotte Til charlotte tilbury setting spray i love this this is amazing but yeah that is all anyway i feel a little bit better i feel a little bit more put together and it was just nice venting to you guys but i am gonna go make myself some matcha now because every morning i have coffee and once ramadan starts if i don't wind down on the coffee i start to get migraines and headaches so hello grayson <laughs> all right guys so we are gonna make some matcha so this is the matcha brand that i use um, it is a Japanese matcha and honestly, I think this is the best matcha. I've tried so many matchas, but this is my number one favorite So I just put some hot water in there and then I'm just going to whisk I'm now going to get some oat milk and a froth it So I'm gonna go get my oat milk there's a little bit in there I'm not gonna need that much anyway so I'm gonna put that in there and froth up my milk usually when it's cold outside I make hot matcha and when it's um, hot outside I make cold matcha today since it's a little bit gloomy we are gonna make um, hot matcha the good thing about this frother is you can either make a cold foam or a hot foam as well. So, I'm gonna make it hot today. Anyway, let me get my syrup. Again, using the same one that I always use, uh, vanilla flavor. And I'm gonna get my spoon out. 
and just wait for my milk to froth. Oh my god, the time is just going so fast. Literally got ready and now I'm making my matcha and it's 12. And I have three hours to go run some errands and hit the, uh, hit the gym. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but inshallah, we're gonna make it work. And just pour that in. Look at that. Yummy. Just pour my matcha in there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Let me give it a good mix. I'm just going to add my vanilla so again i'm just gonna eyeball that don't like don't like it too sweet i think that should be enough it's like a spoon i would say and then mix that up again really grayson really and there is my matcha you guys i'm sure know by now i like my drinks to be boiling hot so that is what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna have to sit down and give myself 10 minutes to enjoy my matcha. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the other side. Good morning guys, hope you guys are well. Today I am in a better mood, alhamdulillah, feeling amazing. Yesterday I went to the gym and I left errands for another day, maybe tomorrow inshallah. But I felt better after and then came home, washed all of my abayas that I'll be wearing for iftar and taraweeh inshallah. And uh, I'm gonna iron them now and show you guys all the outfits that I have in mind. Uh, kind of give you guys some inspo if you guys are gonna go anywhere special. Um, and then we are going to decorate the house, which I'm really excited about. I'm just waiting for Ahmed. And inshallah, later on, if we have time, we are gonna go and try to shoot some content and get um, all of that out the way. So that is the plan. And I also wanted to show you guys this dress that I picked up from H&M. It's like a skim dupe. It's honestly amazing. Especially if you're going to wear uh, abaya. It's like a undergarment. And the quality is so beautiful. I think it's like 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys that as well. And that is the plan for today. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the just dress from H&M so I'm gonna try to stay as modest as possible but as you can tell it is like a bodycon and the sleeves are obviously short okay let's let's do it this way I hate when I wear abayas and the neck is really low and you have to wear a shirt it just looks like a hot mess so this literally covers her collarbone and when you put your hijab on if your hijab comes down your neck is literally covered and this also comes in different colors I think I'm gonna grab it in nude that is the dress i'm gonna be wearing this under all of my abides it's stretchy and um yeah like i said it comes in so many colors but that is the dress and it is a uh, maxi dress i will link the dress in the description box below for only 15 pounds i think that's really good anyway let's <laughs> run out of breath let me try on all of the abides for you guys Outfit number one is in all black with gold. You can never go wrong with uh, gold accessories. But in all black abaya, it is an open abaya, but I have um, that black dress underneath. And let me see if I can go back. And then we're in it with some gold strap heels. Heels are from Primark. This is uh, from Mango. And everybody always asks me about this dress, uh, not dress, abaya. It was purchased from Saruti a long time ago, like five years ago. 
uh, when I did Umrah, but I love it. This is literally one of my favorite abides. It was like ten pounds, but it's lasted me for five years. But that is how my first outfit looks. Here we have outfit number two, an all gold look. So hijab. I bought it from Whitechapel Market. I buy it. It was actually gifted. I will link um, the brand down below in the description box but it is a very gorgeous gold abaya and then just wearing the same gold heels but um, I absolutely love this all gold outfit so I think this will probably be a iftar outfit I have a few iftar um, dinners I'll be going to so and here we have one of my favorite abayas it is a grey Habaya, as you guys can see, it was gifted from my aunt who came from Minnesota and that time I was obsessed with grey so she came through but that is how it looks, it is an open abaya, I have um, just have that black dress underneath I'll try to find something similar and link it down below but just spread it with the gold heels just to keep it very simple and that is how it looks, I'll probably wear this to Taraweh minus the heels but up next is a wrap uh, abaya so it just wraps around all black made out of gorgeous jersey material now I would probably wear this to if thought it was like an all girls um, or dinner but I would throw on my big abaya just to be a bit more modest but I absolutely love this abaya it makes me feel very feminine very ladylike and then I just paired it with my coach black bag and same black um court shoes but that is how this looks again this is an old abaya i'll try to find a um a similar one and link it for you guys and here we have outfit number four or five i lost count but it is this gorgeous uh, sparkly abaya let me just come closer that is how it looks just paired it with some black uh court heels and uh, so this back for my daughter because of the shimmer i think it complements the abaya but that is how it looks it is from a brand called balsam boutique um i will link all of the details down below they also have given you guys uh 10 percent off if anyone is interested in purchasing i think this would be a perfect Eid abaya so for Eid, um but i'll have all the details down below but I absolutely love this abaya and also I wanted to show you guys um, what I was speaking about earlier you see how the um, dress is covering my whole collarbone and neck but if I wasn't wearing the dress you would see all that part of my chest so it's very handy so, just like that and last but not least is this beautiful linen effect abaya wide sleeve I noticed majority of the abayas are wide sleeve I think I have a thing for wide sleeves but that is how it looks this part it was like silver accessories and silver heels but that is how it looks I actually purchased this from tiktok shop I was influenced last year and it has pockets and honestly I love this abaya. It's so convenient and it's casual, but you still look well put together. This is something I'll probably be wearing for Taraweh, minus the heels. But yeah, that is how it looks. Hello guys. So we are currently in the car, off to go shoot some content. We had some spare time, so we're like, why not shoot some content now? Because I'm not trying to shoot um, content while I'm fasting. I get really hangry and I snap <laughs> so we're trying to uh, get that out of the way and then after that we're going to get some New York bagels that this cafe that we always go to they have the best bagel it's um, salmon uh, Philadelphia cheese and um, some chives so beautiful it reminds me of America so we're gonna do that and I'm going to treat Ahmed to coffee for putting up with me great thanks so much <laughs> so that is the plan 
and um, I'm gonna get iced coffee. Just finished filming. I have my gold outfit on. The sun was shining, so the weather perfect. But an all gold. I would never usually wear all gold, but I think I probably might start just sitting here having my ice latte we are done and i'm quite happy with the pictures that took so Hey guys, so I just came back from the cafe and the salmon bagels are finished. I am so disappointed. I was uh, really looking forward to it. I haven't had it for a very long time. I usually just have it when I'm around the area shooting content. But yeah, the salmon bagels are finished and I am so hungry. I didn't have breakfast. I just had coffee. Um, I don't even know how they're finished. It's 2.30. How do you run out of bagels and salmon? But anyway, at least we got good content. I'm happy with that. So, no salmon bagels for me. And you know what? You know why I'm also really disappointed? Because Ramadan is coming and I won't have it for a very long time. And I was really looking forward to it. Now I'm gonna try to go to the shop, buy myself the ingredients <laughs> and make it at home. Hey guys, so we are now back home. I got all of um, the decor out, so we're gonna start decorating and I'm gonna try to shoot a uh, reel if I can for Instagram and TikTok, but I'm so excited. We got all the um, decor out, we got some Ferrero Rocher and some uh, Schler just to kind of set the tone. We're really excited. We have little Neshi going on in the background. I don't think you can hear that in the other room, but I don't know. We're just getting into the festive spirit and just uh, feeling really excited for uh, Ramadan to come. So anyway, I'm going to start decorating. I'll try to record a little bit on here. Alright guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you came this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for my next vlog, I plan on uh, recording the first day of Ramadan. So look out for that one. Anyway, I hope you guys have a amazing Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to all of you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.